Genesis just refreshed the electrified G80 luxury sedan, and the brand unveiled it here at the Busan International Mobility Show in South Korea. And here it is, the new updated electrified Genesis G80 sedan. Now, the automaker has made a range of significant improvements to this executive car. This is not just a tweak of the exterior design, if you will. The biggest change they've made to this vehicle, though, is they've increased the wheelbase by 130 millimeters. That's roughly five inches, and they've done that to improve passenger space in the back seat. This car will now also be offered with reclining rear seats, which is sort of sort of tailor-made for the Korean market, where people are chauffeur-driven much more than they are in the U.S., though we do not know if that feature will be made available to American drivers, so stay tuned for updates. And the idea here is to give this car sort of some of the features that you would get in the larger and more fa and the fancier G90 in a little bit more manageable and affordable package here. Now, beyond that, you also get rear wheel steering, which will work very well with that increased vehicle length to help improve maneuverability. This is a sizable sedan, and parking it in a tight urban area like Busan or Seoul is going to be challenging. Now, beyond that, they've also improved the battery technology. It's somewhere underneath the car, between those wheels, but they've increased the pack capacity to 94 and a half kilowatt hours. Range wasn't necessarily an issue with this car before, but a larger battery pack is always a good thing to have. Now, we don't know how fast this car will charge. Genesis did not release any information about that just yet, but if it's like other Hyundai, Kia, and Genesis vehicles, particularly the eGMP-based models, it's going to charge very quickly. So a lot going on there and will probably be a fast charging vehicle. As for range, they're estimating 475 kilometers. I'm certain that is not US EPA testing. So as always, your mileage will vary. And in this case, probably significantly, but 475 kilometers of range they claim is enough to get you from down here in Busan all the way up to the nation's capital in Seoul, which is at the opposite end of the country. So a very good amount of range for this large executive sedan. You can make that drive without having to stop to charge, which is a good thing. Let's get a little bit of a closer look here. You can see the two-line motif is alive and well, a great styling theme that I do like very much on Genesis vehicles. Additionally, very clean lines as I walk around back toward the front. I'm gonna zoom in here just a second so you can get a closer look at those wheels, which sort of have a Mercedes-Benz monoblock appearance. I think they look absolutely fantastic. Very nice, if you can get a look at them. <laughs> but there they are, sleek and smooth and undoubtedly fairly aerodynamic. Back up front, same general look as before. Not a bad thing at all. This is an extremely handsome sedan and some welcome upgrades for the latest model year. Now, as for availability, this car is set to go on sale in Korea this August, so just a couple months away. It will be available in the United States as well. It should go on sale next year as a 2026 model. If you want an electrified G80 right now, you can buy one at your local Genesis dealership. But before you do that, make sure you check out my full review of the car by clicking the link right over here.